Good evening, everybody, and it is Dan now for the Peter Channel. Sign off news here on this Thursday night, November 26, 2015. And just before the Peter Channel signs off for the night, a summary of the late night news headlines. I'm Peter Wiggins, and how you news that I'm there. Our top story here at 11 o'clock here is in Moscow, where Turkey and Russia traded newly heated barbs and threats Thursday as the Fallout from Turkey's downing of a Russian warplane threat and they also led to a wholesale breach in the country's relations. A day after he was widely rebooked for mocking a reality TV reality reporter with a disability, Donald Trump on Thursday denied that he had done so and accused the reporter of using his disability to grandstand. A man draped in an American flag was taken into custody Thursday after he jumped the fence of the White House this afternoon while the first family was inside the White House celebrating Thanksgiving. Minutes before the balloons began bobbing throughout the streets of Manhattan at Macy's Thanksgiving birthday parade, crowds pushed up against the barricades of the route that lined the Avenue in America's and just out of the earshot counterterrorism officials from the NYPD huddled on. A California firm is recalling a vegetable mix that was believed to be the source of E. coli in Costco chicken salad that has been linked to an outbreak that has sickened 19 people in seven states according to the FDA today. Holiday shoppers around the country get a head start on Thanksgiving as Black Friday will be underway sometime either late tonight or tomorrow. And here now your sports here. Looking at the NFL scores. Detroit Lions all over the field of the Eagles 45-14. Carolina Panthers remain unbeaten with a 33-14 victory over Dallas Cowboys in which Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo is out for the season with a broken clavicle. And the Chicago Bears are clinging to a 14 13 lead over the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field in the fourth quarter on Brett Favre night. And in high school football, Norton Lancers defeat the Bell and Blackhawks at Robert Adams Field this morning, 44 to 6. Philadelphia 76ers rookie Jaheel Okafor was involved in a street fight in Boston on Wednesday. Guy Lewis, a Hall of Fame basketball coach known for leading the University of Houston by some of teams in the 80s has died in a retirement home in Katy, Texas today. He was 93. In college basketball, Texas A&M over Gonzaga 62-61. And now look at your weather here. For overnight, clear the podcast got about 42 degrees. For Friday, sunny the podcast got about 62, about 42 degrees. So, it should be good weather for the Christmas shopping year. And for Saturday, cloudy and cooler, high 46, low about 27 degrees. Here in Bilwaka, 46 degrees of clear podcast, guys. And that's going to be the Peter Channel sign off news on this late Thursday night, November 26, 2015. P. Wilson, hope you have a good night. Have a good positive attitude. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night.